Hi everyone, welcome to day 26 of the 30 day 30 tips on productivity. And today I would like to talk to you about this concept that I use a lot with my clients, which is the low hanging fruit. Many of us make things unnecessarily difficult for ourselves, professionally, personally, um, when it comes to producing something, we tend to not go the easier route, especially as academics. When we think of an output that we need to produce, we tend to not go the easiest way to go there, but go the tedious way so that we can uh, get all of the experiences on the way and learn everything that might be relevant later on, you know, go, go the difficult route. In this episode, I want to give you uh, two examples from two of my clients, the situations they presented me with, and I want you to think of what would be the low hanging fruit in that case, instead of the difficult route that would wear them out in the process. But before I do that, I would like to remind you to please like this video and subscribe to this channel. Um, and also please comment down below what else you want me to talk about. Okay, without further ado, I will start with the first case study, which was a client of mine who was a PhD researcher. And uh, their thesis was more or less ready. Like not completely written down, but uh, the outline was there. The chapters were really good laid out. The, the research was done. So there, it was really easy to, to get to the finish line. But then this client was struggling with this idea of whether it would be a good idea to add one or two more chapters to the thesis that had to be written from scratch. There were there was nothing uh, done about those things. Where did this idea come? One of the people in her committee said, yeah, it would be interesting uh, that si since you worked on that and that and that, and you have results on that thing too, it would be interesting that you would add uh, one chapter on that and maybe another chapter on this. So what do you think the low hanging fruit would be in this case? Finishing, completing the dissertation as is, or adding those one or two more chapters? Obviously finishing it as is, right? But my client was struggling with this idea because the idea was, came from uh, the, a committee member. After talking about it for a while with uh, some questions and answers in the coaching process, my client came to this realization that it would be a much easier uh, thing to finish the dissertation as is, and then maybe write one or two more articles once the dissertation is complete to further go into those aspects that were um, found interesting by that committee member. This client decided to speak with that person and say, look, I find your idea really interesting and I will definitely do something about it, but maybe it's best to keep the dissertation as is because I don't have much time left uh, in my PhD trajectory and I prefer not to have more stress thinking about more chapters. They were able to come to a conclusion to find an easy way. The second uh, case is about uh, a postdoc researcher who was also my client. So they had already written their thesis. They had already defended it, obviously. And now the idea was to publish the dissertation. They had two possible routes to choose from. One is to go for publishing a book out of the dissertation, which would require a lot of time and editing uh, to better connect all of the chapters with each other. And the other route was to uh, publish articles 
from the dissertation, that would also be a bit difficult because some things would have to be rewritten. I asked that person, what is the low hanging fruit here? They said writing articles, several articles uh, from the dissertation would be the easiest because then they wouldn't have to do a lot of rewriting, editing. Uh, they would just package chapters uh, more concisely on their own and publish them. But they were thinking to still go for the book option because that would be more relevant in their uh, field. Client was really stuck between these two decisions. And even though they saw that the low hanging fruit would be publishing several articles, the book option was very attractive because of the possible future advantages that would come from that. What happened in the end, after months of thinking about it, after months of speaking with publishers, this person had decided, in fact, to go for the book option. But after several months, even, they weren't able to make any progress in terms of going forward with preparing their book for publication. So in this case, I am wondering what you would think. What was the law hanging fruit here? So I would like you to think about this idea more often in your daily work, in your uh, long-term goals. What is the law hanging fruit here? Do everything have to be difficult? Do you really have to suffer to get to somewhere or uh, have some outcomes to show for your work? How would it be if you took the easy route? Tomorrow I'll be back with another tip. Until then, mind your own revisions.